everybody this is Shane Phillips I'm here at the Islamic Community Center here in Phoenix Arizona where there's getting ready to be an anti-Islam protest uh, as as you know I am a Christian myself and that is why I'm here I'm also here to do interviews and see what interviews I can get I do understand these people are exercising their First Amendment rights and I am going to ask some questions respectfully in a respectful beats manner and that's why I'm here love beats hate love beats hate you are a zombie of hate you are a zombie of hate we are not zombies like you we have love and humanity in Arizona you are a zombie a zombie of hate we formally had a strong protest nonviolent protest love rallies in 2009 when another pastor in Tempe Arizona was praying for the president's death and his family's death and we showed the world that a few people that have in our opinion, hateful views, bigoted views, uh, are not what Arizona is about. The great majority of Arizona and the city of Phoenix, this neighborhood, we uh, love different cultures, we respect religions. Uh, in addition, uh, although I, uh, as a veteran, respect the other veteran who's organized this event, I thank him for his service, I totally disagree with him. He doesn't speak for me as a veteran, just as I don't speak for all veterans. But the thing is, in Iraq, you know, I rode with Iraqis who guided us. Who were Muslims? Who died? I'm wearing a bracelet for one of my friends who died in a Humvee, blown up. And the fact is, they were Muslims. They died. They were alongside us, putting their lives on the line. This endangers my fellow soldiers around the world right now because it sends out the message that we are all in America about religious intolerance and we hate whole groups of people or whole religions, just as I would not be for somebody um, going in outside at prayer time of a Christian church doing this. I wouldn't be for this or a Hindu church. Uh, or Muslim. I mean, that's why we came to the new world. We had to get away from this. And now I see this hell is trying to come here, but not in our state, not in Arizona. This is a state of love and humanity. And we are much stronger uh, as a group, a, love, a loving community here in Arizona than we were eight or ten years ago. And thank you, Facebook. Thank you, Internet. Love beats hate. Love beats hate. Stop endangering our soldiers! Stop you it! Disrespect our soldiers! Stop disrespecting our soldiers! You are endangering them! You are endangering them! I serve with the Iraqis! They died with us! I'm feeling overwhelmed by the amount of support that I'm experiencing and people that are reaching out and just showing solidarity. Um, I'm here today because I felt like it was important to show up and represent what Islam is really about, which is peace and understanding and loving one another. Um, there are over one billion Muslims in the world. It's a peaceful religion. There's bad apples in any and all religions and all around the world. So it's not reflective of the greater Islamic population. Uh, most of us are very peaceful, very loving people. Um, so I felt that it was important that I come here today and just um, speak to people and I'm glad that I did because the support is overwhelming and I'm just filled, overwhelmed and filled with so much emotion and gratefulness that, that this still exists in the world today despite what we hear in the media, despite what we might think or assumptions that we might make. So um, I know that it's hard living here in the U.S. maybe sometimes by, by what the media portrays Islam to be, to keep a clear mind and, and, and not cast judgment. So it makes me all the more appreciative that everyone is here today showing support. So I appreciate it and I love you all for it. And where are you from? Um, I, I live in Phoenix. I'm from California. My dad is actually from Yemen. So, so you're going through a lot of issues right now because of your family in Yemen. Yes, they're getting bombed and they've had to flee their home. I've had family members um, be hospitalized from the bombings. and um, It's to the point now where we can barely communicate and pretty soon all of the... Um, they're bombing all of the infra infrastructure, so pretty soon I won't be able to, to contact them to see how they're doing. And so there's just a lot of turmoil and a lot of hurt going on. So. Um, when we talk about ISIL in these groups, it's not just um, the non-Muslims that are being hurt, it's also Muslims that are being hurt as well. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Come on, man. 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 Come on,
Speak up behind your back. Let's well, take Muhammad and fuck him in the ass like he paid hey, on you, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Fuck Muhammad. Fuck him. Back. Move back. Move back. Move back. I'll send Muhammad to hell where you are today, hey, motherfucker. Hey, wake up behind your back, boy. This is absolutely amazing scene here in Phoenix. I'm absolutely blown away by the support I'm seeing here today. As a human rights activist and a Christian, I'm absolutely humbled by what I'm seeing for these people to not have hatred like the people have over here. These people are standing in peace. They're standing in love. They're standing against the hatred that is being supported across the street. And it really humbles me as a human rights activist and a Christian to see the support. We have had more turnout of the people against the haters than the haters themselves. It has absolutely been a phenomenal experience. It's uh, kind of heating up still a little bit. Both sides are getting a little bit more argumentative. But there's actually more people against them being here than the haters themselves. And that's what's been so incredible about this situation with the police right here. The police are actually holding the haters back from the people that are protesting against them. Look at this. This is absolutely amazing, ladies and gentlemen.